Welcome back to The Source. I am your host, Joshua Warner, and today we're doing another little haunted travel segment. This time we are in Vassar, Michigan at the famous Wedding Cake House. Now this house was built in 1879 by Richard C. Burtis. Now Burtis was a shoemaker and he was also uh, a really prominent landowner at the time. I believe he had purchased about 40 acres when he got this lot. Now this is a very old house built in 1879, but what a lot of people don't realize is it was actually a house that was standing here previously as well, that he tore down and built this, this new house on the same spot. Uh, so this very famous haunted location, we don't know how far back the haunting goes. Does it predate this Burtis house? Are these spirits from a previous home? It's hard to say, but the architecture is beautiful. There is an octagonal tower in the front facade that's absolutely gorgeous. Now today, the house is inhabited by Marine Corps veteran Conrad Dow and his wife, Jessica, and their son, Xavier. They have, um, they have had a heck of a time since that they've moved in, but they've decided to power through it and continue living there. They have heard voices and footsteps throughout the house. Objects throughout the house have gone missing and then days later will reappear in strange places. The son, Xavier, young boy, has seen and spoken with many of the spirits in this house. He talks about a man who comes into the doorway of his bedroom at night and stands there and watches him. He talks about a woman in a blue dress who he has spoken to who has a hole in her head. Now the family believes there are both good and bad spirits possessing this house. And it has been investigated multiple times by paranormal investigators. But probably the most malicious spirit, one that investigators and mediums have determined is not a human ghost, but something demonic, some other kind of entity, is one that has tried to hurt, possibly even murder, Jessica herself in their bathroom. This is probably one of the most intense, violent, poltergeist activity experiences in this area. In this case, she was in the bathroom when the mirror flung itself off the wall to crash down and break, but a big shard of the mirror shot itself into her leg sideways, creating a cut that was three inches deep into her leg and multiple inches wide and then it scraped down all the way through, puncturing her tendons, her muscles, and her artery in her leg to leave a long gash with a huge scar all the way down her leg. She nearly bled to death from this incident. Now think about when glass breaks, when shards fly at you, it's more likely to either bounce off you or if it cuts you, it will stick in you or then possibly fall out. It does not go three inches deep and then have the force to drag itself through your tendons and muscles. Definitely a haunted location, definitely some of the most intense poltergeist activity for such a quiet, calm, and peaceful neighborhood. That's it. Uh, this uh, wraps up another travel segment here in Vassar, Michigan. Anybody who's curious, you can look up the Burtis home or the Wedding Cake House, the famous house that Richard C. Burtis built for his wife and had no idea what it was that he was really constructing and what kind of spirits it would house. Back to the source. Thanks. <laughs>